Thank you. I just wanted to ask, what is your hope for Brienne at the end? Obviously, you said that she is the most noble character, and some of those characters haven't had the best of luck in the book. <laughs> <laughs> but what is your hope for her at the very end? You can't ask me that. Yeah. <laughs> I can leave if you want. Um, he's not here, he's gone. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, well, now I just can see it really free. Um, um, listen, I accepted. I accepted a long time ago that most characters in Game of Thrones die. <laughs> but um, it would be nice, George. <laughs> 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 Someone that was nice, there. <laughs> but, you know, I think... Um, I, I, I was asked a question, um, a, a little a bit, a bit like this, about what I would I'd like to see happen to Brienne. And genuinely, my imagination is no, in no way comparable to George's. And, and the journey that he's taken the character on so far is so uh, much more than I could ever have expected and hoped for um, in all of its machinations um, that that I, I happily leave it in his hands. I would, I would love to see her. I'd love to see, you know what? I'd love to see her continue to go through the greatest, greatest hardships and actually survive. Mm. Because <laughs> that's an unusual story, isn't it? <laughs> that's an unusual story. But I've come to terms with it, George. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm, this is maybe, I'm not sure if this is off topic or appropriate or not, but I'm just wondering, um, and obviously you don't have to answer it, but uh, with that practice, huh? <laughs> so I'm wondering about your personal life and in, in relation to suddenly being a huge star in some circles, like people recognize you, and so dating and stuff like how do you <laughs> hi how's it going nice to meet you oh my god you're the whole game of thrones oh wait i mean how do you inter interrelate with people and how does that affect your kind of your perception of yourself in a relationship when you meet somebody are you apprehensive or, you know, that's just what i'm that's <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do, I do get it's strange because it's it's a part of um you know uh, I, I just really like the work of oh, it sounds so boring and worthy but I just really like the work of being an actor and the rest of it is you know nice and some of it's really fun really amazing fun and being able to meet all sorts of great people is really exciting meeting people that you've always admired people with great minds. That's all really great, um, but the, all the other bits, I, I choose not to place my attention there because I just want to be a really good actress and just do some really good work. Um, huh. uh, you, you know, it's um, Sometimes, yeah, it's, it, 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 I'm six foot three and I've got like white blonde hair. It's pretty hard to disguise myself. Uh, uh, people are gonna like look at me anyway, and then they're like, "Oh, look at that! Oh my God, it's um, yeah. from that show, um, which is wonderful." Do you know it's wonderful as an actor to actually be in something that people watch, and <laughs> watch and enjoy? That's yeah. phenomenal. Um, but uh, yeah, I just. Um, I don't. I, uh, I. I. don't know. I think it's healthiest to keep concentrating on the work you do. I think. I think if your attention starts to go too far uh. elsewhere, then then you stop like concentrating on the job. Yeah. Um, and my friends are all still the same friends I've always had, and um, 
Yeah. I, do you know what? That, um, oh my God, it, it, Brienne of Tarr has afforded some amazing introductions. <laughs> and um, for that, I'm incredibly grateful. So, yeah, I, I, I just feel really lucky that I'm, I've got a really great job. And I've got like a job in the best TV show in the world right now. And I don't think there's much better than that. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs>